Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my skincare routine with you guys. I've actually posted my skincare routine in the past, but I think a lot of you guys are new to my channel since then and I have made some slight changes in my routine so I thought I would just film another video. Also you guys asked me to film this all of the time. I'm very flattered because you guys always comment on how my skin is glowing and how you want a skincare routine and I feel like my skin is just like whatever like it's good it's not terrible but it's not perfect but if you guys want it i'll be happy to give it to you and i do really appreciate the compliments so before i get into the products i use i just wanted to quickly state again that yes i know my skin is not perfect i'm just sharing what works for me and it may or may not work for you i have pretty normal skin my skin is actually pretty dry in this area of my face but i tend to get a little bit more oily around my nose, like my T-zone areas. And then sometimes I also get some like bumps around my chin over here. And also, although the products that you put on your skin are really, really important, I also think there are a lot of other things that play an overall role in your skin health. So for me, the five things that I found to be the most important besides products are definitely drinking enough water, eating tons of greens, avoiding really oily or greasy junk food. However, number four is eating a good amount of healthy fats that totally helped to balance my skin out. And then finally, number five is getting enough sleep. So I just wanted to quickly say that, that there is more than the products you put on your skin, but now I'm just going to get into telling you guys what I use. So to be honest, I only use two brands for all of my skincare. Both of them are cruelty-free vegan brands. All of their products are 100% vegan. They're all natural, and I personally know the owner and founder of one of the brands, and then the other brand I've talked to a lot frequently. So I consider them both to be like close friends, and I strongly believe in these companies. And some of their products are a little bit more pricey, but I do think with skincare, what you pay for is what you get. And I know that both of these companies are using the highest quality products available and that totally, definitely has contributed to the overall health of my skin. So the first company is Osea Malibu and they are based in Malibu, California. All of their skincare is infused with seaweed, which I think is pretty cool. And then the other company is called Franklin and Whitman. They're actually based in Philadelphia and they don't focus more on skincare like face wash and stuff, but they do more self-care items like serums and face masks. So I tend to use their products more for those things. But another cool thing about this company is they always donate 5% of their proceeds to dog rescue organizations. So I use slightly different products on my skin in the morning versus the evening. So I'm just going to go through the morning first. First things first, I always wash my face using Osea Malibu's Ocean Cleanser. I feel like it gives my skin a good deep clean and I've never had any problems with it so that's why I continue to use it. And also if you are curious, they do sell smaller bottles than this which are more travel compliant so I do have a smaller bottle and I'll just refill it with a bigger one if I'm going on an airplane and need to take it in with me for my luggage and stuff. Then after I wash my face I use a facial toner. Currently I've been using this facial toner by Franklin & Whitman. It's actually one of their newer products and I really really love it. It is made of pure hydrosol so there is no alcohol in this and I used to use an alcohol based toner. I actually used it in my old skincare routine and I thought that in order for a toner to work you kind of had to feel like your skin was burning, but since switching to this was just totally natural, nothing gross in at all, I feel like my skin tone has stayed the same, if not improved, and it doesn't burn. And I also really like the smell of this. And this one has different hydrosols, which is sort of a more diluted form of an essential oil. So it smells really nice and it has cucumber, hibiscus, and sweet orange in it. So then in the morning to moisturize my face throughout the day, I use Osea Malibu's Atmosphere Protection Cream. It's a light moisturizer. I like it because it still leaves my skin feeling moisturized, but it doesn't feel super, super heavy on my skin and I don't feel like my pores are getting clogged at all. And it absorbs relatively quickly too. So then after I do that, if I'm wearing any makeup, I put makeup on. As you guys know, I tend not to wear too much makeup. But if I was wearing makeup throughout the day, I start my evening skincare routine by taking it off. So for this, I use Franklin & Whitman's Cleansing Serum, and this is basically just a blend of different oils that are hydrating for your skin, but also help to break down your makeup. I used to use a non-oil based makeup remover, but I ran out of it and I started using coconut oil, which I liked because it really helps to break things down, but some people actually 
have a sort of allergic reaction to coconut oil, it's not the best thing to be putting on your face. So I switched to this and I've really been liking it. I also think this is a lot easier to use because it is a liquid and it has a pump attached to it as well. So I can just spray it in my hands and rub it on my face. Whereas with coconut oil, it's usually a solid when I use it. So I had to like rub a Q-tip into it and then rub that on my face and then I'm using extra Q-tips, etc. After I get all the makeup off my face, I get rid of the oil from the cleanser and any remaining bits of makeup and then just wash my face in general using the same Ocean Cleanser by Osei Malibu again, except this time I like to buff it in. I have one of these spin brushes. Um, I've had this for forever. I bought some replacement heads on Amazon. I really like it. I feel like it really gets deep into my pores and clears out any of the gunk that I have throughout the day. Then again, I follow up with the Franklin & Whitman Facial Toner to tone my skin again. And then in the evening, I like to do more of an intense moisturization that's not a word, whatever, of my face. So I use this facial serum by Franklin & Whitman. It's a blend of argan oil, rosehip seed oil, and pomegranate seed oil. And I really like this because again, it absorbs into my skin really fast, but I feel like it's a much more hydrating and deep clean. And it still does feel like slightly oily on my skin when I go to bed, but I don't mind that at all. It's not like a gross kind of oil, but I know that it smushes in my skin sort of for a longer period of time and in a more intense way. And I've also been told that it's never too early to start with the anti-aging process, so I also use an eye cream at night. I use this eye gel serum by Osei Malibu. I just put a little bit on my finger and then tap it under my eyelids. And that is everything that I do on a daily basis for my skin. It may seem like a lot of products, but I feel like they all make sense to me and I love all of them and can't imagine my skincare routine without them. But I do do a few additional things every once in a while for my skin. I like to do a face mask one to two times a week. Um, you're not supposed to do them every day because they can be damaging to your skin because it is a lot of intense exfoliation. But I like to do them because it's a nice way to sort of unwind, care for my skin, and I also find that it's a great way to practice self-care, like the act of putting on a mask and just relaxing and playing some chill music is really great. So for that, I generally use the Franklin and Whitman masks. They have a ton of different masks, and they have some that are catered to different types of skin types. My two favorites are the Oak Lane and Queen Village face masks. The Oak Lane is my absolute favorite because it smells like a brownie. It's mostly comprised of raw cacao, turmeric, and activated charcoal. And for both of these masks, I just put about a teaspoon into a bowl, mix a little water into it until it gets a paste, and then I use a brush to apply it it to my face and actually if you're using clay masks you're not supposed to let them completely dry on your skin I know I'm totally guilty of this and I let them dry on my skin all the time but I'm just letting you guys know it apparently takes out too much moisture if you let it completely dry so you're actually supposed to remove it when it's still slightly damp but then the other face mask that I like from Franklin and Whitman is the Queen Village one and this one is mostly comprised of colloidal oatmeal aloe vera and activated charcoal and this one is better if you have sensitive skin so if I feel like oh my I don't know I just so if for example I feel like I still want to wear a face mask but I don't want something as intense I'll use this one and then I do have one more face mask that I use every once in a while I probably say like every month or so and this one is by Osei and Malibu it's their vitamin C probiotic polish so it's actually not really a face mask this is more of a deep exfoliation so it's like a dry powder and you mix it with a little bit of warm water and then you rub it onto your face and this is a very very intense exfoliation you're only supposed to do it for like 30 or so seconds and then afterwards you're supposed to put um, a deep moisturizer on your skin but i find this really gets in there and it's a really really deep exfoliation and then one more thing I use every once in a while if I want to do something as a sort of act of self-care but I don't want to wear a face mask, maybe I've already exfoliated that week and I just need some time to chill. I really like the Franklin and Whitman Botanical Steams. So basically these are like potpourri, if you've ever seen potpourri before. I feel like that was one, way more common when I was growing up as a kid, but I'm sure some people still use it. But there are different flowers, herbs, or spices. This one is one of their newer uh, scents. It's kind of like holiday themed. It's cinnamon bark, cloves, and hibiscus. So for these, you only use about one to two tablespoons of the steam and you just put it in a bowl of warm water. And then I just put a towel over my head, over the bowl, and then I chill there for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'll play some music and relax. And I especially like these in terms of self-care because it 
totally requires me to get off my phone because I can't look at my phone while I'm staring at a screen. So I do like to do steams every once in a while before bed if I need to pull myself away from my phone and just start to unwind for the night. And that is officially everything that I use on my skin. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. I will link all the products I use and the company websites in the description of this video. And I do do some work with Franklin Whitman so I do have a discount code for you guys for that. But if you guys have any other questions on things I use for my skin or any of the specific products I mentioned, let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to answer it. Other than that, um, yeah, I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.